Haitian President Yovelno Moise has been assassinated in his home, shot by a group of unidentified people. The leader's wife has also been taken to hospital after the attack. The interim Haitian Prime Minister Claude Joseph has condemned the killing, calling it a hateful, inhumane and barbaric act. The country of more than 11 million people had grown increasingly unstable under Mr Moise, who'd been ruling since 2018. Gang violence influence has been growing in Haiti, in addition to political instability. Elections due in 2018 had been long delayed and opposition leaders had demanded he step down, arguing his term had legally ended. Funerals have been held for some of the 36 people killed in Miami's apartment building collapse. A looming hurricane is complicating the search for the more than 100 people still missing. Another funeral today for victims of the Surfside condo tower collapse. Four funerals in one. The entire Guara family died together. The parents, Marcus and Annalie, and their little daughters, Lucia and Emma, ages 10 and 4. May we all be guided by the lights which shined too bright for this world. Due to tropical storm Elsa, all of Miami-Dade County is under a tornado watch until late tonight. The outer bands of the storm whipped winds and rain through the debris pile Monday and Tuesday, slowing the search teams periodically and making their delicate work a little harder. Nearby lightning also caused a two-hour pause. 200 urban search and rescue experts are on and in the pile around the clock. Two shifts, 12 hours each looking for victims while still hoping for the very small chance they may still find a survivor. No one's been rescued alive since just a few hours after the collapse 12 days ago. Miami-Dade's fire chief says they're seeing no signs of life. Fortunately, we're not seeing anything positive uh, that continues in, in that sense. You know, the, the key things we're looking for uh, all throughout in regards to voice space, livable spaces, you know, we're not coming across that. More than 5 million pounds of concrete has been hauled away, allowing crews to search deeper, looking for voids or tunnels. A U.S. geological survey team is also now on site. Miami-Dade County's mayor says they are examining all levels, local, state, and federal, for accountability in their final fact-finding report on what caused this disaster. We're going to be making policy changes, as you know, at every level and at every step in the building process to ensure that this can never, ever happen again. The future of casual dining is already here as robots join the restaurant workforce in southeast Queensland. They're doing the hard work of waiters and making the job of their human co-workers easier. At this humble Chinese family restaurant, there's a new waitress turning heads. Dear customer, She's very polite, never late, and hasn't dropped a plate yet. Her name is Bella. Your food is on. First, tray. A robot taking dishes from the kitchen to the customers with a smile. Enjoy your meal. She's already employee of the year, taking the strain off her human co-workers, letting them focus on human things. 120 to 150 table orders, and uh, they keep running, and uh, no stop. In this restaurant alone, she covers anywhere between two to three kilometres a day. Inspired dumpling sales have soared roughly 50% because human staff are now free to take more calls and deal with more customers. She also limits person-to-person -person contact on the plates, helpful during COVID, and we're told doesn't bump into patrons or tables thanks to sensors on all sides. Well, if you're wondering how this works, there's a camera on top of the robot which tracks these. They're little GPS devices that create essentially a virtual path for the robot to follow. So it'll come straight to your table, then all that's left to do is eat. Thanks, mate. The robot revolution has begun. Pudu, the developers from Shenzhen, China, are fielding interest from the Australian hospitality industry. They also have bots to take care of service, collection, disinfection, and ones that'll show you to your seat. So it's really safe and uh, uh, really smart. 